My experience today at Robben Island was uh, a little uh, paradoxical, if you will. Uh, in the, initially, when I was on the boat on the way over, I began to prepare myself emotionally for expectations of coming over, but I'm learning to not anticipate anything anymore. Um, but upon entering the jail cells and walking this sacred space, um, I no longer felt grieved in my spirit, I actually felt celebratory. And when we went to the rock quarry, um, as the driver was pointing out to us, um, the altar of stones that was built and initiated, um, impromptu by Nelson Mandela, by placing a stone on the ground and the other prisoners who were here who were celebrating their release and the transformation of this island, it became a, a, a moment of exuberant excitement, a celebratory that um, I'm just going to have to say God, in God's own time, transitioned something to be so ugly and mean and heinous to society to something of beauty for a man to be raised up, and as this sign says, resurrected, raised up from the glum and dirt and mar of our society to be president of a country. Robben Island is something to be celebrated of a history that was bleak and dry and ugly to something where God can change and transform lives.